So I'm here at Oregon State University with Dave, who is one of the brainchilds behind the hydrogen kind of thing that's going on here. And he's going to, in really simplistic terms, explain to me on this whiteboard behind me how hydrogen is extracted and all that good stuff. So it's pretty straightforward. So the organism we use is uh, called cyanobacteria, uh, photosynthetic bacteria, basically. But they do photosynthesis the same way plants do, but they have a way to produce hydrogen that plants can't. When light energy comes in, uh, the first thing it encounters is a protein complex called photosystem 2. Mm -hmm. And so this is where water is first split. So this takes sunlight energy and splits it into protons and oxygen. And then the electrons sort of stay in some protein carriers in the thylakoid membrane. There's a compound called plastoquinone. Oh, EPQ. Starts, e yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, yeah. Then, and then it goes through a couple other protein complexes. There's another one called uh, cytochrome B6F. Mm -hmm. And from there, mm -hmm. it goes to PS1. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the PS2. Right. Next step, there's a protein called uh, ferrodoxin. Ferrodoxin? Yes. <sighs> So the electrons go from ferrodoxin. Is a beauty. Absolutely. And then beauty. the next piece is a pro uh, protein called NADP. Nadpug. Nadpug. Picks up that electron. Oops. My handwriting's getting all messy here. What's that? No. NADPH. You just nerd yeah, I know. I did. Oh, it's fitting. NADPH. Nad so that's Nad that's the magic. That's where that's where hydrogen comes from. So the Nadpug and the Nadpug. Are kind of interrelated there in terms right. of right. So protons are freely about in the inside of the cells. They everywhere. just spew just everywhere. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, they're yeah. everywhere. You love and a so protein. these protons protein. are used to make ATP. <sighs> That's where it. The ah. protons make the ATP. Yeah, the the protons. I thought it was the nab to her. No, no, it's not. It's the other way around. It's the okay. I'm with it. Yeah. Right. At the end, they're in this compound called NADPH, ATP. These two compounds are used to fix CO2. That's photosynthesis right there. You know what, you're brilliant. So Absolutely. this is where, this is what plants do, this is what algae do, this is the cyanobacteria. So our, our end product here is yes. the carbon dioxide. Right, the carbon right. dioxide to... C6H12O6, which is the chemical equation for glucose, everybody. Yes. Very good. So, what the cyanobacteria can do that plants can't do is they have another enzyme in here called a hydrogenase. That's supposed to be an H, which can use NADPH to uh, produce hydrogen. Okay. Directly, right there. There you go. I mean, there's not much more straightforward way of explaining it other than that, which to me seems absolutely, totally simple.